And we're up. So uh, welcome, everyone. Welcome, Somalia community. Uh, today is a big day. It's uh, December 29th. Uh, we want to, again, always thank the community um, that has made this possible, the thousands of members on Telegram, our thousands of users on Somalia pairings, as well as on Discord. Uh, uh, Jack, Zaki, and I uh, decided that it would be nice to review the year um, and answer any questions uh, as we head into uh, the 2022. But really a, a nice time to just review and, and again, easily um, talk about and review all what happened in 2021. So um, again, if you're here for the first time and you're not uh, familiar with Similia, make sure to check us out at similia.finance. Um, and if you want to know what's happening in our community, uh, check community.similia.finance. And um, we ha you should have links both to our Telegram and our Discord. So uh, welcome. And so Zaki, uh, greetings. And uh, I don't know if you had any thoughts about 2021 so far that you thought uh, would be cool to share, but you want to kick us off on uh, the, the year look back. And I see that you requested. Oh my goodness. I'm approving again. I'm approving, Zaki. All right, so while Zaki is getting approved, um, Jack, you're here. Can you hear me okay? Oh, yeah. All right. Um, so Zaki's going to jump on. And I think we're, I was just asking, like, uh, I was starting off, I was going to start off with the quarters, like the first quarter <laughs> of 2021 and maybe move in, you know, in these groups of fours. But I don't know if you had any thoughts about, you know, any big ideas about 2021 that uh you know come to mind as we get sucky back on here oh. yeah you know thinking back on it uh over the holidays and the, having conversations with family uh, and, and other folks one of the biggest stories of this year that you know definitely affected sommelier and, and some of the stuff that, that we did this year was nfts um when we're talking about mass adoption and more and more people using crypto the value of NFTs as these sort of art pieces to in a soft way in help people uh, come into the industry, I think has been huge. Um, and while it's kind of tangential to what we're working on, it's been a lot of the conversations I've had over the holidays. So, yeah, I, I mean, like, obviously a lot of other things, the year of cross chain with IBC launching and Tons and tons of things happening this year, but uh, NFTs are one of those ones that just kept bubbling up over the holidays. Awesome, awesome, uh, and and uh, interesting enough, I, you know, you said something about IBC. Um, I think IBC had a big year this year in Cosmos. Um, any highlights there that you know come to mind in terms of where we started off 2021 and where we ended off with IBC? Given that also Somalia is is IBC active chain um, and mainnet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, I, I think we've seen billions of dollars go over IBC. We're doing roughly, uh, I think, 2 million transfers a month between all the various Cosmos-enabled chains. Um, I think there's around 28 to 30 different chains live now. We've got dog money on IBC. Yeah, it, it's, been a, it, it's been a huge year for IBC in that community. And a lot of the work that I've done this year has been... Um, relaying and you know helping support that broader ibc community um so very exciting stuff there too i mean i think i think like one of the most defining things about the year is when we started out the year it wasn't really clear that the alt l1 thesis had any licks um and by the end of the year the alt l1 thesis is the dominant thesis um uh, and that means like multi-chain bridges, um, IBC, um, all have become incredibly important. Um, and it's sort of, it seems like we finally, like, you know, for after years and years of people sort of trying to ask the question, is it, is this like a, an ETH and it's L2 world, or is this, a a a, 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 an internet of blockchains world? I feel like this tw the the main thesis story of 2021 is definitively answering that, um, and because and like to relate back to like what Jack was talking about, like this is the year that I think in many ways mass adoption happened. Um, like what we would have called mass adoption for most of the history of blockchains happened in 2021, um, 
And because of like where we were in the technology cycle where L2s were not really ready yet, um, like Alt L1 and like Alt L1s were ready and have been ready, um, Alt L1s became the uh, like sort of dominant near, like where mass adoption took place. That's awesome. Um, and when you think of, you know, the L1 narrative and what it means for Sommelier um, looking forward into 2022, Zaki, um, I presume that Sommelier sort of fits neatly into the alt L1 space, both on the Cosmos and Ethereum side. Um, I'm guessing then that uh, Sommelier plays well to a lot of what is happening and, and should participate in the onboarding um, activity as we head into 2022. Um, so is that just luck or do we plan that or is it just the way the, the chips fell that Sommelier well, is taking advantage of? I, I think that there, you know, Sommelier has been, you know, there's, there is a, there is a, you know, Sommelier is very much, so like, to me, the, the, you know, and this is, this is what I sort of view as like the theme right now, which is right now the Alt L1 narrative is still a narrative around like i want to do the same like i want to do the same things i just want a different place to do them that's like cheaper or like you know better in some other way um and so you know we are still seeing um like this like commodification of like settlement and execute and transaction and like transaction execution across the industry um and Sommelier is not about that. Um, sommelier is not about that. It's like not about that commodification. Sommelier is about what happens after that commodification, which is now you have like all of these L1s, you have complex protocols um, and uh, you have all of these L1s, you have complex protocols running on all of these L1s and people want an abstraction layer for, for interacting with them. That's what sommelier is about. So I still think that we're, you know, in, in on, to one extent, we are, you know, we are aiming ahead of, of, we're skating to where the puck is going, which is like good for where we are in our like technology and life cycle development. Um, but like you're going to see in, in 2022, um, really the sort of commodification of, 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 of execution environments, um, like really accelerate. Because like all of the all of the all, you know all of the missing pieces all, like there's there's like there's sort of some missing pieces to like the alt L one hypothesis, um, but like I feel like all of those missing pieces start to come together in in 2022. Got it. Awesome. Good look ahead. Okay, so going to take a peek back. Um, for many folks may not have been part of this familiar journey from January 2021. Um, so I'm going to chunk things out into quarters, maybe to make it easier. <laughs> um, you know, January through March um, of 2021, uh, you know, Jack um, uh, put onto paper, uh, you know, maybe even October last year or December last year, put onto paper the Uniswap V2 in permanent loss, um, you know, application. And he drew that up and that came to life in the first quarter of 2021. Uh, where you know we were tracking APYs across all of Uniswap V2, uh, we had um, amazing rapid iteration and folks jumping on us as we were working on the protocol. Um, anything that you know that V2 story, you know, sort of progressed onto the V3 story. But before we jump, any highlights from you know the January through March side of the V2 application, the APY tracking and and that activity that. Um, and also, of course, preparing for mainnet um, on the Sommelia chain that, you know, those memories come to mind for you guys or anything that just springs to mind uh, from then or is it still a blur um, from those accomplishments? Jack, Zaki. Um, I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's been an exciting year. Uh, the stuff that has been most exciting is I think a lot of the sort of deeper platform stuff that we've been working on um, mm -hmm. finally getting the gravity bridge fixed. It's also cool to see the Alpha team launch that live. Yeah. Very huge part of the early story of sommelier and, mm -hmm. and seeing that become the, um, become the conduit for tokens into the cosmos ecosystem from Ethereum is, is something I'm really excited about. Um, 
But yeah, there's, uh, you know, and especially towards the end of this year, we, we obviously did that fundraise, which was huge. Um, and we've been spending a lot of time hiring in sort of org building um, since then, which is also I'm extremely excited about. Um, you know, I, I think we reached a point towards the end of the summer, early fall, where we were all kind of rate limited. And the only way we could move forward is to kind of scale the company. So, uh, you know, I'm really excited about the team that we're building um, and what we're going to accomplish over the next year. That's kind of where my focus is. Got it. So so in terms of, uh, you know, I think it was your idea that, you know, we started off with the impermanent loss and now we're migrated into this new thing. Um, you know, we've gone through Uniswap V3 iterations and now uh, getting ready to launch liquidity um, and, of course, grow the orgs. Uh, you know, anything that, uh, again, looking back on the journey that you're like, hey, you know, um, this year, um, you know, was free. I mean, we were all rate limited. So I'm kind of curious if you had any ideas on things that you were like, hey, this was really cool. I think we, you know, we have, um, you know, about 4,000 Telegram users now. Um, we have um, about $10 million in liquidity for the year. Um, I guess maybe my question is, um, you know, anything, any other accomplishments or milestones? Um, I mean, Gravity was one huge. Um, Mainnet was another. I know that was a big push. Um, any sort of thoughts there, even on Mainnet, like coming to Mainnet, and I think we were in Mainnet in October or August. Um, and I know that you were a big part of that refactoring. Any thoughts there that inspired or it was pretty much a blur and we just came out on the other end? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, obviously getting mainnet live huge. Um, I, I think that that was a, that was a massive milestone. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, the, the product that we initially set out to build, which is this sort of end to end protocol, which moves data, uh, uses the cosmos chain to manage stuff on Ethereum. We're still not live yet with, so, right. you know, um, <laughs> this is, this, this is my mind focusing on the things that we haven't done. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's kind of what sticks in my mind. I, I'm really looking forward to getting that piece of it live and seeing it in production. Right. I, I think we're going to be standing up a test net with that tomorrow. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and thank you, Mantis, for the for the recommendation. We're going to try to stand up a test net. That's going to be super exciting. Um, I, you know, it's I, funny. I should I should share. I had one user hit me up on Telegram today, and said uh, on Discord they posted yesterday. Um, Will Sommelier have its own token and its own chain? And you know, we had to reply and say, well, the, the mainnet is live. <laughs> the token, <laughs> the token is, is the chain is live. Um, I think a lot of folks are waiting to hear more of that activity. Um, and I think Zucky would say, you know, liquidity needs to flow. So um, I think we, you know, this year we also had the airdrop proposal um, pass. Um, thank you for the community um, to, to getting involved in proposing and making that happen. And I think if you go to community.simulate.finance, um, today you'll see that there's even a new proposal up that just went up, SIPSO3. Um, for starting to move the funds from the community pool to the airdrop. So those, um, you know, faithful sommelier users and community members um, who've been waiting to hear what's happening, um, I think should definitely go to community.sommelier.finance and take a look at those, you know, these SIPs that are now launching um, that will highlight, one, um, the, the movement of funds for the airdrop of tokens. And as well, I think there will be some other proposals coming for the upgrade, um, at, well, particularly upgrade of the Gravity Bridge. So um, a lot of work from a lot of great people in Sommelier. Um, uh, Zaki, any thoughts about, you know, some of these milestones so far and your ideas on how they, you know, get ready for next year? Um, I think that the, again, the ongoing message should be that decentralized multi-chain technology is still very much the frontier, um, yep. and um, you know, I be you know it you know the the whole the whole story of this year has been how to get the gravity technology, which is a you know 
in a very, which is a very, you know, powerful, you know, the sort of core thesis of sommelier is that the gravity bridge technology had a lot of untapped power. Um, but how do you, how do you actually realize that untapped power um, has been a big part of like what we have been working on this year. And one of the sort of metrics that we have sort of set for ourselves is to not sort of get liquidity into the, into the network until we can fully deploy that technology um, and fully realize that potential. Um, and that has been, uh, you know, uh, uh, as always, these things are a difficult to predict and a difficult to understand engineering process that has taken us through audits and audit findings and forks and uh, in various implementations launching. And, you know, there are there are all of these complex moving pieces um, but like you know, progress has been has been uh, has been significant, um, and it, I think it's pretty I think it's pretty exciting um, where all of this lands in 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 uh, in twenty twenty two and beyond. Absolutely yeah, I agree. You, on this, it, it, as far as the decentralized multi chain stuff, like we have made significant progress this year, and it, you know, learned a lot from seeing these systems live in production. Um, I, I think we started talking about. You know, we've obviously got this this ETH use case, and I think there's tons and tons of ETH use cases. But it, when we started talking about this, the the Cosmos use cases were blocked for a couple of reasons. One, the tech wasn't there yet, um, and then two, there wasn't anything to do on Cosmos at the beginning of the year. Um, and with the launch of Osmosis, uh, Terra coming online, and many many other, well, Juno as well, and other smart contracting chain, Agoric about to come live. There's a, a lot of economic activity happening on Cosmos-based chains in the tech um, in terms of interchain accounts and a bunch of the other really exciting pieces there is uh, basically there um, and will be coming live first quarter of next year. Um, so that's all really, really exciting, too. And this team, you know, Zaki and I are in our engineering team are kind of on the cutting edge of that in a lot of ways, too. And, and that's been a really, really great part about this year. Yep, agreed. All right, so I'm going to take a few minutes to give some shout-outs and thanks to the familiar people that have touched um, and really had an impact on this protocol. So forgive me, everybody. It's going to get boring, but i got to give shout-outs. Um, first shout-out is, of course, is Zucky and Jack. Um, thank you for an amazing year. Um, again, uh, you know, we started out this journey, not sure where we would end up. Um, and now, you know, again, the promise of the Alt-L1s um, puts Samilia in a place where, um, again, a lot of Awesome things are coming, especially with the Gravity Bridge upgrades and release. Um, great job. Congrats on the year. Look forward to 2022. I'd like to also thank Kevin Kinnis. Um, Kevin was instrumental in, um, you know, uh, bringing on Rockstar team members, um, you know, uh, Lucky Odessi um, and um, Odissetti and Elliot Chu, as well as uh, Joshua Phillips. Uh, the team that brought us pairings, um, just rock stars who were able to get thousands of users into Sommelier ahead of the mainnet launch. Um, so these gentlemen uh, and a great team that worked tirelessly to make sure that we had something and we could build a community based on use cases uh, for Sommelier and a vision that Jack had. Special thanks to Federico Kunze. Federico started off the gravity refactoring, um, did a lot of work and, and uh, eventually uh, was able to launch and, 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 and uh, bring us Evmos uh, which is an exciting protocol that um, I'm sure we will continue to partner with in 2022. So congratulations uh, and thank you, Federico. Of course, to the Althea team. Uh, again, we wouldn't have Gravity without Althea. We started this journey last year. I know the Gravity Bridge has spun off in different directions, but um, Justin, Deb, and Jahan, uh, really instrumental in the first half of the year um, in nurturing you know, and making sure that we were all aligned and continuing to progress through. Uh, the, you know, the promise of the Gravity Bridge. And so um, we thank them for an awesome year. Um, in the second half of the year, we have new folks. Um, thanks to Stephen Jung um, and William Chang on the Viper contracts that we used in the Similia Pairings app. Um, thank you, Mario Thiel, for our community. Um, there's someone who always talks to folks both in Telegram and Discord and make sure that every day, every week, we had multiple blog posts up. Um, Mario Thiel, great job. Um, special thanks to, of course, the marketing team, Brian Colligan and team who kept essentially getting us on Twitter, our events hosted. 
We hosted approximately maybe 12, 15 events with some of the top players in the active management space on Uniswap V3. We were able to get audiences because of them. Um, also, thanks to the newest team members, um, Unique, Divine, uh, Sunrock Puthi, and Joseph Terror. Terragino on the data science side who's helped us, you know, sort of work on getting ready for the new um, Uniswap V3 active management on Sommelier and beyond. Um, thank you, Joyce, for our front ends. Um, thank you, Josh Philippe, for our front ends as well. You guys did amazing work um, bringing and maintaining uh, a phase for Sommelier to work on. And um, uh, again, uh, I don't know if I forgot anybody. Um, thank you, Tony Sieri, uh, who again helped us with a lot of DevOps problems that we had, um, and also thanks to the Graph Protocol team. Um, we had we had a million dollar Graph grant in this year. Uh, it was able to allow us to you know really figure out how to leverage the Graph, and of course thanks to our, all our investors um, who believe in us. Um, everybody from Standard Crypto, Multicoin, um, Polychain, and others uh, who understand this promise of uh, the unleashed power of um, both the Alt L1s, Cosmos, and the Gravity Bridge. I don't know, Zucky, Jack, did I forget anybody? Is anybody else we should share thanks with for an awesome year? Anyone else? That's it. All right. Um, also, thank you, Jason well, Wong. I, yes. I, there are, you know, the whole <laughs> inclusion team has. Uh, thank you, inclusion. Has uh, has played a big role in getting everything done, as well as the uh, Strange Love team. It's really been exciting to see Strange Love come into its own um, uh, this year. Uh, you know. Absolutely. Jack, you want to talk a little bit about uh, what's going? You know, just like you know, the emergence of Strange Love as like a yeah, as a sort of major contributor in the DAOs of the of the interchange. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of folks who know me have known that I've been doing a lot of this work for quite a while at this point. Um, and uh, I needed to kind of scale myself. I think last year I spent a lot of time just working with a bunch of other organizations. Um, and it became really, really clear to me this year that I needed to kind of build my own organization to uh, help order and scale my contribution to the broader cosmos. The strange love is that. Uh, my partner, Tyler Schmidt, uh, has been working in crypto for a while. Um, he's most recently been at a company called Ubisoft, uh, working on uh, user experience for their front-end website, but is coming back to work full-time in crypto again. Um, and we've been hiring engineers and bringing a bunch of people online. Uh, so, you know, that's uh, going to be really exciting this year. We're going to be doing a lot of sommelier work uh, moving forward. Um, and uh, as well as other things throughout the interchain, you know, the existing relayer work that I've been doing uh, is now organized through Strangelove. Justin, who is Ethereal One on here, uh, has been fantastic helping me out this year. Um, and we've got a couple of couple more folks coming online early this year, early in 2022. Um, and we're going to be contributing mainly to uh, the front end side of sommelier as well as to the uh, sort of like back-end server hosting side um, of sommelier that's that's going to be our big contribution moving forward and awesome and yes uh again welcome strange love again continues growth and continued success i think this is definitely promising for sommelier in 2022 um anybody else we forgot to thank does that cover it? All right. Well, why don't we check in for a quick I mean, uh, minute? I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for Zaki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Zaki says, Tarek, I don't like being the center of the tension, but I'm like, yeah, dude. Yeah. You know, we, we got well, to thank you. We, we, we got to embarrass him every now and then. Oh, every now and then we got to say, uh, yeah. I, I've, uh, I've taken some time over the holidays to uh, play this terrible video game called Stellaris. It is not uh -huh. a terrible video game. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's terrible because it ends up taking a ton of my time. But uh, Zucky responded. He was like, I haven't played any Solaris this break. Zucky has been on an absolute tear with the codes lately. So just want to call that out, too. There you go. Uh, before you go, one minute left. Um, any questions from the community? I just wanted to make sure if anybody had any questions on AMA. I know we should give more time to that. But uh, if you have, you want to raise a hand um, as we uh, I mean, I continue. think the question that will, everyone will ask is when token. Um, and so let's 
Um, let's 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 like actually answer that concretely because that's probably the the question that's on everyone's mind. Um, is the plan for the token is a simultaneous airdrop into Osmosis and Uniswap V3, um, and the the requirement to make this simultaneous um, has increased the engineering complexity. Um, so, which is why we didn't like sort of make our end of the year deadline. Um, and so this. Uh, governance proposal today to move funds into um, into a into a into a into a into a into a uh, um, into a into a, uh, uh, into a um, address um, a staging address is one of the first things we can do before an upgrade. Um, one of the things that we spent a bunch of time engineering towards the latter half of the year is a change in the way gravity ERC twenty tokens work. Um, so that we could actually migrate to a new gravity bridge in the future and keep the same ERC-20 representation of the SOM and, and the other Cosmos tokens um, that come over the bridge. Um, and so we can st we're going to do the staging. Um, then early next year, we're going to do this upgrade um, to a new gravity contract on mainnet. Um, and then we are going to be able to achieve um, this sort of goal of simultaneous release. Boom. Mike, drop. Love it. Uh, and that is, we. I, I think the community would be love to hear that. That's exciting. And if you are here, you can see that progress on community.simulate.finance. Activity is moving forward. And yes, uh, we expect early next year, uh, in a week or two, uh, you're going to see more progress towards proposals to um, sure that these upgrades are happening. All right. Um, I think that's it for us. We're at the, the 10 o'clock hour here in Pacific time. Thank you everyone for joining. And uh, again, please join our Telegram. Uh, check us out on our blog, similia.finance slash blog. Uh, we will be sharing updates, progress is moving forward. And again, thanks to the backend team, uh, the protocol team, um, Strange Love, Eclusion, all of the Eclusion team, and also uh, all the other Volume 5 folks here uh, for their continued contributions in 2021 to Similia. Look forward to 2022. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Zaki. See you guys. <laughs>